A couple things before we get into this. Blender 2.83 just came out, so merge is not alt M, it's just M. Also, I didn't plan on using this footage as a tutorial, so anything stupid I do isn't my fault. Has everyone had the misfortune of seeing KK Slider standing yet? No? Grab a chair. We'll just start right off with moving the camera out of the way. Hit N to open the side panel. With the camera selected, under the item tab, change X and Z locations to zero. Change X rotation to 90 and Z rotation to zero. And now toggle off the camera's visibility in the outliner window by hitting the little eyeball. As much as I would love to go into super detail, just set up the reference as usual using the corresponding ortho views and shift A to add a reference image as you go. I had to hand draw all of the reference because I couldn't find solid reference of KK Slider standing, so his body shape is really just a guess, but it's good enough. I like to enable more restriction toggles and disable the selectability of my reference. That way, you don't accidentally move your reference around. All right, let's select our cube and tab into edit mode. Hit A to select everything, scout down, and position it. Using the numpad keys to change views, adjust the shape to match each reference angle. At this point, I notice my front reference seems to be off-center a tiny bit, so I grab it and drag it on the x-axis until it's better centered. I hand drew these poorly, so it's not going to be mirrored perfectly. So with the cube in position, switch into face select, select the top face and extrude it up with E. In front ortho view, scale this new face down along the X axis, then scale it along the Y axis from the right view. In the modifier tab, add a subdivision modifier. Set its viewport to two. Attempt to move stuff around to get this new shape to match the reference more closely. When you're happy with how it looks, apply the subdivision modifier. In vertex select, select one side of his body. I use circle select with C and delete it with X. Now add another subdivision modifier and then a mirror modifier. You can use these arrows to change the positioning of the modifiers. I find that usually I prefer to have the mirror modifier above the subdivision modifier. Now turn on proportional editing with O and start dragging stuff around. You can adjust your proportional fall off by scrolling your mouse wheel. My main goal is to get the shape to match the reference while positioning a vertex to be at the center point of the leg and arm. So here I'm moving my vertices again to make way for a leg. You could leave it the way I had it and just use a six vertex circle, but I like eight. Let's name our cube and add a new one. Position it to make his hand. KK's paws seem pretty simple at first, but it can actually get a little confusing to figure out. This is what I came up with as a solution. In top ortho view, control R to add edge loop along the middle. Scale and position things on the Y axis. Switch into face mode and select these two faces. Hit X and choose delete only faces. Create another edge loop. Position it where his dog fingers, I believe they're called toes, will end. It should look something like this currently. Scale the tip of his fingers or toes down and move stuff around. Add a subdivision modifier. Add two edge loops with Control R and by scrolling the mouse wheel. Use Control R a bunch more times to add in an edge loop on both sides of these edge loops. Edge loops on edge loops. Now select each set of three vertices near this opening and merge them on the middle vertex. Make sure to select the middle vertex last each time. Alt M to merge at last. Select these four vertices and scale them down on the Z axis. Grab and drag them on the X axis. Now, just move stuff around a bit. Select these four vertices and extrude them along the X axis. Scale and fill in the faces. In face mode, select the back face and delete it with X. A to select all and smooth shade. If you're happy with the paw shape, apply the subdivision modifier in object mode. Select the hand object and shift select the body object. Hit Control J to join these two objects together. Alt select this edge loop. Grab and drag all these vertices to about armpit height. Alt select the edge loop below and double tap G to edge slide it a little lower. Edge slide this one slightly as well. Now select and edge slide this edge loop to roughly line up with the midpoint of the arm. Now select this vertex and delete it with X. Might as well grab these vertices and edge slide them as well. 
Not only does this fulfill my edge sliding addiction, but it also makes the arm open more cir- <laughs> But it also makes the arm opening more circular. With proportional editing turned on, make some adjustments to the body shape. If you're not careful while using a mirror modifier, you can easily end up with shapes that are weirdly sharp near the center. We'll just fix that. No one has to know. Alt select the arm opening and shift S, move the cursor to select it. Turn off clipping and add a circle with eight vertices. Rotate and position it. It looks like his arms connect significantly further back on the reference, so we can either pretend like we didn't notice it and keep it this way or change it. I decided to change it. Alt select the arm opening, turn on proportional editing and check connected only. Drag back on the Y axis and make the fall off fairly large with the mouse wheel. When it looks good enough to you, connect the new circle to the body. Alt select this edge loop and while holding shift, also alt select this edge loop on the hand. Hit F3 to open the search menu and search for bridge edge loop. Adjust everything to your liking. Add edge loops as needed. I think this looks good enough. Thank you for watching. It really means a lot. If you want to help our channel grow and know someone who'd be nice to us, feel free to share our video. <laughs> I can't say it. I love you. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs>